Welcome back to Beauty Business in Mind. Affiliate programs. It still is going to require you to sell. Yes, you can make lots of money on affiliate programs. Um, I've done them before. There's lots of perks to them. But the reality that nobody is telling you is that you are going to have to promote it. You are going to need to sell it as well. And it's not just as simple as sharing, hey, I love this, go sign up. The reality behind affiliates, um, three top tips for this. But most importantly, I'm always about the gray area, right? It's nothing whether it's going to work or not work. It's more like, what is it going to take, right? The in-betweens of the things is what this episode is about, all about affiliates after I haven't been doing them for the past almost um, six years. So with that, let's go to it. So affiliate programs, you know, are amazing. Pretty much what you're saying is that you find a product that you truly love, okay? That's so important. Nobody tells you that. If you're going to be promoting a product, do you align with the values of the company? Do you actually love it? Do you actually use it? Or are you just doing it to create an additional source of income? I think it's so important that especially this year, 2023, I know affiliate programs are going to have this big hype about them. They're old. Um, it's something that many people do, even from big brands to big you know, companies, online educators. Everybody's pushing affiliate programs today. But I did want to share um, some of the things that we should consider, right? Which is like, if you're going to be promoting a company, do you share the same values? Um, do you actually know what they stand for? Are they a legit company that if you know if your customer or the person you're referring is having issues or needs a refund or whatever the issue may be with that product, they're going to get the level of support that actually you would expect or they would expect from you. And I did want to start with that off before I start with the whole tips and everything because sometimes, you know, like I know there's people that have amazing intention, are sharing things that they love, even if they don't have commissions for them. I'm one of them. I share things that I don't get any, I get zero dollars for. I'm truly sharing them because they're tools that have helped me, right? And there are tools as well that I share that I use in my business that I love that help me move up to the next level that I'm actually an actual affiliate, which all an affiliate is, is you're promoting a product that you love. And in exchange, if somebody signs up, you get a percentage of a commission for it. So for example, um, I use Flowdesk. Um, it's what I what really helped me to grow my email list. It's what helped me to create opt-ins. It's what really helped me to be consistent to communicate with my community um, for Celeste Stylist for my email list. And I love them. I've been with them, you know, from the beginning. I only pay $19 a month for that. I have a special code, Celeste Stylist. Anybody that signs up under that code gets for a whole year, you only pay $19 to use Flowdesk for your email list. Um, so that would be a, th- that's an affiliate, right? I have a special code, you get a discount, I get an incentive. So for example, the incentive for me is that I get $19 for every person that signs up. That's my incentive. Being transparent AF, that's an affiliate. Now, The thing that you have to really be aligned with is what happens, right? Like behind the scenes, if you're going to be promoting a product. So I've had to troubleshoot things, right? With Flowdesk, I'm like, hey, I don't like how you guys do this. I don't like how you do that. Or, hey, I don't know how to do this part. Can you help me? I really appreciate their support system. Um, Their support community has been super awesome. Their customer service, they are really listen. I feel like they actually care about my issues and try to help me and assist me in the best ways possible. So that's why I decided to promote them because the product that I've used that has helped me grow my own business and I actually do believe in. So I just wanted to give you that example of an affiliate program. Now, knowing that and giving you a little bit of back, you know, the stories to that, um, I did want to go ahead and share that you still are going to need to promote. You're going to need to sell that program just like you would anything else. But it, for me, I think it is simpler. It's simpler for many of us to sell other people's stuff than our own sometimes. So that may be a great incentive for affiliate programs. But you want to make sure that you're very careful and, and strategic to not dilute your business, to not dilute your authority as well. If I was an affiliate for over 50 companies, would you take me seriously? 
Or would you be like, well, I don't know if Celeste's getting paid for this or she's being authentic to it. So always be very mindful with that. Affiliates are amazing, but be very aligned with who you associate with, right? There are companies um, that I have affiliated for before that some people don't agree with them or don't agree with the educator or the face of the brand, but maybe I am more behind the scenes and I get to see other things that they do that most people can't see. Um, for example, like I'm part of this one company I did sign, sign an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement. So I can't go into details what company that is, but I actually um, am a consultant from the, for them for a part of one of their committees. And part of that is that I get to see the changes that they've been able to implement over the years. I've been able to see also within my own story because I paid for dollar for dollar to be inside of the program before I was part of their committee in that business. That business helped me get into be able to learn so much more tech that has helped me not only grow my own business but grow my brand also grow my husband's business and grow the other business that I'm co-owner of so I did want to share that because I think it's so important that if you're going to be an affiliate for somebody um, that you really are it's really in line with your values as your business and your brand because it will affect you okay and it can affect you not always in just positives, but in other ways. So be very mindful of that. That's the shit that nobody's saying. Yes, Celeste likes to swear sometimes. I apologize. Welcome to this show. Um, I try not to, but you know, I love to swear. It's part of my real language. So be very intentional when you sign up for an affiliate and do your homework. Don't just go off on what the company says, what people says, or whether it's trending. Do your own homework of looking into the company and seeing what their values are to make sure that it's aligned with you. Tip number one, you're going to need to sell it. And I went to share that because I am the type of person that I will always be in integrity. I believe that you can be in integrity and sell your business and sell your products, sell your services and be in demand. I do not believe in this whole sleazy or slimy or light to your face so you buy my shit type of thing. Um, I don't believe in that. So I did want to sell, tell you that you are going to need to sell it. It's not something like, oh, I signed up for a flow desk and good luck. Like, no, I need to sell it, right? Like sometimes I'll show behind the scenes videos of how I use it. If you look at my Instagram at Celeste Stylist, you can look at a perfect example. I was literally sending out an email to my Pinterest um, formula students for my pin formula program, letting them know that the new, you know, because I just redid the program and change some things in there that it's available for them and they have different access and if you know then the people who are now i have a monthly subscription for it so i send out an email to my students and i was literally showing how i utilize the program i put in the in the caption area about my discount code and then i am an affiliate and what that means so be transparent, right? So part of selling is showcase. You're going to still need to, just like if you would sell a product or a service in your own business, you're going to need to show how can this help that person that's going to purchase this or is going to try to try out this new product, service, or program, whatever it is that you're an affiliate for. So you're going to have to sell it is my tip number one. There ain't no magical unicorn that is going to sit on your couch and you're going to get, like I see some people like, yeah, I got $20,000, I got $55,000 or whatever it is but you don't know the size of their email list you don't know how much they've been promoting it um i follow this big person on social and she was an affiliate for this other program it's like a two thousand dollar program she has been preparing her audience because i am part of her email list i noticed she was preparing us about you know time savings hacks and all this stuff for the past 60 days and she went really strong on it in December and then this month she announced that she's an affiliate to sign up for that you know the webinar that that person was doing and everything and that's the part when I say like you need to sell it right so she probably makes really good money out of that affiliate I don't doubt probably over a hundred thousand dollars being an affiliate for this um, educator but she does do a lot of work and that's why I wanted to do that tip number one is you're gonna need to sell this thing like it's your own product it's not just a magical unicorn that's going to bring a bunch of money to your account you need to sell it part number two is also be very transparent so right now i'm actually working on my website um, because 
I want things to be more clear. And one of the, my new pages is the affiliate portion. So I'm actually going to be including that part of my website. Take that tip. If you have a website and you're an affiliate, let people know. Be transparent. I have an Amazon store. So my tip number two is be transparent, right, with your affiliates. My Amazon store, it literally says the first thing under Celeste Stylist, it says this person gets commission. I'm letting you know for everything you purchase, I'm going to get a certain percentage of it. It's not a big bit and it doesn't affect your pricing, but I am going to get paid for it. And people appreciate transparency, right? And I think it's so important now more than ever that we're transparent. And that's the reason why I'm adding that little that little blurb on my website. That's the reason why I'm changing something also in my business. I'm adding an additional page, you know, with just all my affiliates because, I want to be able to be transparent and also people know these are the things I support. This is the reason why. This is the code you can get discounts if you want to try it. And if not, it's fine. Um, and also with affiliates, I think it's so important that you also like be transparent in why you use it and how you use it. And be okay that not everybody will sign up under your affiliate link. I have a lot of followers that all of a sudden decide to use, they look at my stuff, I see them, right? It'll happen. I'm being transparent. I'm not going to lie to you in this podcast. They look at me, they see I have an affiliate code for certain companies. They'll sign up under, they'll sign up with those companies, but they won't use my code. Um, and sometimes people will do that and it may upset you. At first, it used to upset me. I mean, I've been years into this. In the beginning, it would upset me. Now, I really don't care. You know, I'm like, I am here to give knowledge and I know my best stuff is inside of my paid stuff. So everything I give is from the bottom of my heart. You can take it. You can use the code if you want to. You don't have to if you don't want to, but, you know, like support me, whatever. Like, I'm happy that's working for you and let it go. Don't be focused so much on that. But just remember that with affiliates, transparency is so important, especially in 2023 with the big push, because this is not just coming for the hairstylist, okay? Like I follow different accounts um, and different type of businesses, and I coach different type of business owners. Affiliates are being pushed very hard this year. And please don't dilute yourself because this is one of the things that I'm trying to be very mindful of, even myself. Don't dilute yourself. Don't dilute your value by supporting something that you're not truly supportive of. Don't be sharing a product. Don't be sharing um, things without letting people know, hey, I'm an affiliate for this. Or like, hey, you know, discount codes. Most of them know, okay, she probably gets some type of percentage for that. But be authentic, right? Share it how you use it. Share how it has changed you. And make sure that you are very transparent with your audience when you're using affiliates. And lastly, part number three, redefine print. Okay, I think it's really important that we redefine print. And this is the reason why. Sometimes, depending on what type of company you're an affiliate for, it may affect you being able to do other affiliates or do other things with different companies within the same realm. So I always say redefine print, right? Like maybe there's an affiliate program and they'll give you $100 for the first 10 people to sign up. But then after that, it goes to only like $10, for example, per person that signs up under your code. Those are the fine print things that you need, really need to read. Read if you can, you know, is there like a competition clause or like that you can only be with them and you cannot promote similar products. All that stuff is so important that you do your homework. People don't tell you that. And I am telling you that because the worst thing that can, you know, like that would do want it to happen to you is that like you sign up for all those programs, you dilute your brand, you dilute your voice and your value. Um, and then, you know, like, or maybe an opportunity comes up and you're not able to take it and, you know, and, and be able to help your business grow from it because of an affiliate program that you're in. So always read the fine print, make sure you understand the terms of service and what it means to be an affiliate for them. And lastly, you can change your mind. Um, products, change companies sell right businesses evolve and we're allowed to change our mind and no longer support businesses that we used to support um maybe your business is gonna you know change and to a new realm and you can you can no longer feel aligned with that product it's okay to say no thank you having worked for brands as a branded educator 
um, a hairstylist educator, as a paid speaker as well. Over the years, there's been times in my life where I've let go of brands. Um, for some people, that may make no sense. For me, it did. Their values no longer aligned with mine. And that is very important to me. I will choose my values, my brand, my business, my, you know, like the reputation. So if you work so hard for your business, your brand, your reputation, your values, if a brand does something or you're no longer aligned with them, you're allowed to say, okay, I'm done. No, thank you. Like I moved on. You're allowed to say, hey, you know, guys, like, or hey, hi, you know, like to my following or to my clients. I used to love this product, but I no longer love it. They changed the formulation and no longer works. And I think it's so important that you be okay with that. I have signed up. I know a lot of people don't like MLMs, um, which like is like multi-level marketing. It's kind of like an affiliate program, but they but people don't like MLMs because they say that they're trying to sell you a lifestyle. Like you'll have more time with your kids and be super happy if you sign up here and you sell our product, right? Kind of BS. I've signed up for some of them because, you know, there's been like either people in the beauty industry or other friends that are like, I love this product. Sign up, try it out. I've signed up and tried it out and figured and used it and see that the product is crap. Like it's garbage product. And I don't care how much it tell me, oh, maybe you used it wrong. The product is crap. And I decide to disassociate and I, I paid for the program or I paid for the product. I signed up for an affiliate. I've tried the product and I hate it. I will not promote it. I will not be an affiliate for it. I will not promote things or products that I love and I personally have used and have helped me grow. Every single product that I have ever recommended are products that I use that have actually helped me with my type of hair or my different type of hair clients that I have. And it has been a great type of product or service. So be very mindful with that and just know that if you change your mind, if your company changes or the company changes and their values change and you're no longer aligned with that, you're allowed to say, hi, I know I used to represent this company. I'm no longer with them. I used to be a branded educator, international branded hairstylist educator for this brand. I am no longer with them. That was my decision. They didn't ditch me. I just didn't want to be with them anymore. And you're allowed to say thank you and then change your mind later on. And I did want to say that because it's so important that you understand that you're in control when you're also in the affiliate program. And really read the fine print. Some of them, if you don't use, if you're not bringing in enough sales or if you don't bring a sales minimum, they will kick you out of their program. So there's lots of different things. So that's why I always say read the fine print. Affiliate programs can be amazing. They do bring extra revenue to your business. Um, but I did want to be very transparent that it is going to require you to sell. You want to make sure that they're aligned with your you know, brand as well, values. You want to make sure that you read the fine print, okay? Because you want to make sure that you understand all the terms and conditions of how they're going to pay you and what you can or cannot do because some of them are very strict. And lastly, you can always say, thank you. I love you. I wish you the best. We had a great ride, but I no longer want to be with you. You get to change your mind and you get to let it go like Elsa says. I really hope this episode was helpful for you. Thank you so much. I have a new episode coming out in Spanish this week. So I will see you back here for the regular English um, podcast episodes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So much love. See you then. Bye, love.